This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Magus and um, it's getting closer to the Division beta and Ubisoft did an interesting thing beforehand. Something that while I applaud them for actually being as trans transparent as they've been with this, um, I don't know if I ever recalled a company issuing a list of known bugs that are going to possibly affect um, users during the beta uh, like this. Um, usually it's more of if you're in a beta, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing in a beta, which is you're discovering issues or, you know, issues that come up and then all of a sudden you like what the hell is this and then after people complain the the company will come out like yeah we are aware of this we're working on it and, you know instead of telling people yo these are the things that are probably going to fuck up on on your um platform or with the game period um we are working on them but yeah you're probably going to experience this bullshit uh wise move but of course in today's day and age kind of not because you draw heat from the community and you know in some cases the heat is well warranted because we've already been told that over 10,000 bucks have been fixed on this game so there while you know good on you for your honesty you're presenting an image of this game that yo this shit is going to be another janky Ubisoft experience. And with games like Assassin's Creed Unity having, you know, already <clears throat> left the bad taste in people's mouth, um, even with this, again, what I applaud, you know, this level of transparency, people aren't going to react well. Like, for me, it's just like, okay, cool, thank you for letting me know, but this is what has me hesitant on, you know, purchasing Ubisoft games, even the games that I'm interested in, like The Division, like uh, the upcoming Ghost Recon Wildlands, like For Honor. You know, I still have not purchased um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but from what I understand, it's fine. No ma major issues, nothing um, to, you know ruin gameplay and on top of that it's actually one of the better assassin's creed assassin's creed um in recent years so i'll be purchasing it sometime soon i just need money uh tax season is here so i'll be able to get it with that but you know i will probably forever be hesitant with that because of performance issues and it's been something that's been building for a long time when you saw because they've come up with this whole mass market production system that I don't like, but, um, you know, I have to say, uh, some of the things I see worry me. Now, let me get the elephant out of the room before I actually go into detail. There's one element that I know a lot of people on YouTube are really, really complaining about and are harping on, and it's probably the least concerning. Actually, no, it's no probably about it. It's the least concerning issue with this game, and that is capture cards. Um, and I'm on the uh, site where they list the known issues. I'll try to remember to put it in the description. But it's the first thing that you see and basically says for Xbox One, PS4, and PC, capture cards. Playing Players using Windows 10 will experience corrupt video signal output when using an external video capture card device. Models affected, Atomus Assassin, Elgato Gaming HD 60, Atomus Shogun, and potentially more um, now that has people of course up in arms and I have to say calm down and I guess in a way you know just be quiet because at least from my perspective as someone who does YouTube someone who captures gameplay um, it's a selfish concern for me it's something that only concerns me because if I want to use that content to make YouTube videos or to live stream 
and you know help benefit my you know you my viewer base you know it'll raise my viewer base or add views to my videos it'll help my CPM let's be a hundred percent honest it's not about having the ability to share it that is going to probably be my um, biggest problem with this it's hey this is a game that can potentially draw me more users more followers more views on twitch help build the follow base to where maybe i can get a partnership basically it's going to fuck with potential money and that is why you're hearing a lot of these youtubers and you know live streamers go nuts over this um whole issue with the bugs it's not necessarily because hey you know i don't like this and you know i'm mad for the community no there's a lot of people out there who if you actually pay attention to the videos i'm pretty sure their rants are going to be mostly based around the capture thing or their issues are going to be around the capture thing fuck that shit if you hear somebody do, do that just ignore it i would say because at the end of the day it's a selfish thing it's them upset because their money like i was watching a live stream uh right before i cut this video and this dude was like going like fuck that i'm not playing this game if i can't you know capture it and stream it's like okay so um yeah you you you're not worried about the other stuff and this is the stuff that i'm really worried about because again this is the capture card thing selfish selfish thing at the end of the day the other problems are what's going to affect the majority of the gaming community because the majority of the gaming community aren't on youtube making videos like i'm doing right now and things like that the more, majority of the people who are interested in the division are into the division because they find it an interesting concept of a game that they want to experience and hopefully enjoy but with performance issues like this, I don't know if they can. So let me just go over um, the issues. One of them is textures. Um, world textures may render very slowly after a player responds. E, but e, I guess that's a beta thing. And this, uh, I will be, to be 100% um, fair, being a beta test, this seems to be the first time in a long time that we've gotten a beta that actually is going to be a beta we are definitely spoiled by the fact that a lot of these companies have put out betas that are really demos and pretty much finished products this seems to be a beta but then again ubisoft seems tends to put out betas period if you think about it sorry i had to say that because they've had performance issues like galore with their games um in recent history but anyway uh, PC concerns VSync. This is probably like one of the most absurd things. Let's see. Basically, you experience significant frame drops if you have VSync on. The work and, and they give workarounds. This is the thing that was hilarious to me. The workaround for the VSync issue, don't use it. They legit say don't use VSync. And that way you save your frames. Okay. Um, windowed borderless modes um fps may drop below 20 when the game is played in windowed or borderless mode um so play it in full screen to maximize your fps um and i guess you know this is a weird one because i like playing in windowed mode just so i can answer my messages i know a lot of people of course again going back to the youtube um, streaming thing like to do it so they can monitor their capture and stuff like that or monitor their chat if they don't have a two screen setup um so yeah still sucks your frame rates are gonna fucking drop because you're playing in window mode that's bullshit performance this is crazy too in video graphics players may experience graphical corruption and visible visual artifacts when using nvidia cards which is really bad um so there is no optimization for NVIDIA cards yet. Um, mind you, NVIDIA tends to drop that patch 
right before main release but still that's kind of bad that you don't have any type of um architect laid for you know basic architecture laid perhaps i don't know um i it's just weird to me especially since nvidia is generally the most common but then again as i'm saying this i also remember that microsoft's kind of you know with windows 10 is kind of pushing towards the amd model and the consoles are on amd so yeah this might be another sign of, of nvidia um losing the stranglehold at least from uh development side if not fan side uh Gameplay population in instances where the dark zone is overly crowded in the small area. Players may experience performance issues such as delayed damage or animated glitch. So basically, your shit's going to fucking just lag like shit if there's too many people in the area. Okay. Um, character selection. Players may experience graphical corruption in their character model. And the character selection screen on higher res on resolutions higher than 1080p. So this beta is not made for 4K. Don't try it. Don't do it. Or anything above 1080p. God damn. Uh, gameplay. Here we go. Xbox One, PS4, PC. Saving Private O'Brien. Clever name. The second wave of enemies do not always attack the player if he eliminates the first wave too fast. It's a problem. The workaround, exit the mission area and re-enter it, re-entering it will reset the mission. <laughs> so basically, if you guys are efficient in this mission during the beta, like after you play it the first time, you run through it, you're able to run through it if you play it again, it's not going to be able to catch up with you being good at it. You gotta, like, you gotta give it time to be able to think, oh, he's almost done. Okay, interesting glitch. Um, gameplay, premium subscription. Uh, basically, okay, let me read it. Players may become stuck in Dark Zone checkpoints if their premium console subscription expires while the player is inside the checkpoint. Um, vibration option, controller vibration option switches on each time the player respawns. Um, okay, so the subscription thing. From what that sounds like to me is <laughs> basically if you are playing in your Xbox Live or your PS uh your PS Plus subscription um ends I guess at the time like you're playing until midnight the day of when you no longer have either of these um you get stuck that I don't get that that that's weird. I've never heard of anything like that before. But then again, this is Ubisoft we're talking about. Um, they have the, they have built this reputation, sadly. Um, gameplay. Unable to shoot. <laughs> Workaround. Players may be able to be may, may be unable to shoot or switch weapons after exiting Chelsea Pier. Interesting. You got to restart the game to fix that. It, these are some and this is on PC. This is some crazy fucking bugs. And this is the thing. These these bugs sound like things that should have been checked in Q&A. Um, interface. Gameplay, GPS. The GPS in the world map may send the player to dead ends or through areas outside the beta map. So the GPS is not... It's, it's going to be basically configured for the full game or something. I... Or maybe it's going to be like real life GPS and it's going to take a minute to be able to um, locate you sometimes when you get to certain areas. Interesting. Okay. PC interface languages. After installing the game in any other language than English, the game will still launch in English the first time. <laughs> Working around is to select your language in the language select the screen on the first launch of the game. So basically, the software has no fucking clue where you're at even though you tell where you're at or what you speak and interesting um bugs and glitches performance proximity voice chat uh players may experience problems when communicating with proximity voice chat in the dark zone such as poor audio quality or temporary interruptions proximity chat is currently limited to eight players at a time 
Um, okay, so that's not a workaround. I don't know why they call that workaround. But basically, they haven't worked that, fleshed that system totally out. Um, it seems that is the one thing I may give them a slight pass only because you don't see that a lot in games anymore, I don't think. Proximity voice chat. So it's probably something that they're coming to grips with. And it's something that I feel like you actually do need to test out in real world settings more than anything to actually get a good um, grip on that. Uh, bug glitch falling through the map. Um, this is something that we see in betas and in real games con commonly. Um, remember, Star Wars um, Battlefront. I posted a couple of videos of us falling under the map. We were laughing like hell during it. Um, but players will fall through the map when joining another user that is watching the intro cin cinematic. Now, it's funny that it happens there. Like, like okay, I'm joining. He's oh shit, and like you're in the. They, they get out of the cinematic and they see you just right below their feet looking retarded. Um, but it says uh, you'll be teleported right back to his checkpoints once exiting the playable map volume. Uh, that's funny. And then Ubisoft Club is fucking up. Uh, Ubisoft Club beta action may not unlock when the user created a Ubisoft account in the same place as session. So basically, if you are you don't have a Ubisoft club or whatever account and you're doing it while you're in the game, it'll fuck up. So I guess you should create a club now. I don't know. But I just wanted to go over those just to like, you know, discuss them only because again, Ubisoft has built this really bad reputation. And the funny thing is as a company when you look at them from the perspective of the titles that they've had in the past, the ideas that they've come up with presently, and things that'll be coming in the future, um, they should be much better than they are. Their problem is that they have so many projects um, that they want to get them all out as quickly as possible and are willing to, again, like I said before, utilize this mass market um, production system where they get multiple studios from all over the world working on pieces of the game and then try to tie it all together now massive um is pretty much worked on this on their own but you've had help from i believe montreal and you may have had another studio come in um <clears throat> this game might have been like rush uh on top of, they may have outsourced the you know stuff to other studios I didn't mention. It, it it is sad because we're at a point now where it's about what five weeks, six weeks until this game is released to the world. Um, and they just squashed over ten thousand bugs. Then they have bugs on this level to get rid of. Um. It, it's 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 crazy it's crazy and hopefully they can pull it together in the final hour um i'm not gonna sit and just be like write this off because i have yet to experience it who knows i may get the beta experience none of this um i'm not saying that i think that within the next 48 hours or so at the time of this recording that they'll get everything right for the beta and we won't see any of this um, I actually think that they're looking forward to seeing this stuff happen to the in the beta, just so they can see how well they're fixing it or if they, they where to how to fix it or something. Um, you know, but uh, it it could it could it could honestly not be as bad as we think. Uh, that's why I'm not gonna sit here and just be like, oh my god, Ubisoft, because hey. It, it, I don't know what the final product is going to be. I don't even know what the beta is going to be like, like I said before. Um, I want to get my hands on This is why I'm really interested in getting my hands on it. I really want to find out for myself just how deep this wormhole goes. Um, and if it is something that I feel actually could be brought back together. Um, we'll see. I mean, I already preloaded the game. I'm doing it on PS4, so on the 29th. I'll be able to get some hands-on. Whether I can record it or not, who knows. If I can't, I'm still going to play it so I can give an assessment of the game. Because 
I don't just play games just to record. Um, you know, it's a bad habit to do as someone who considers themselves a like a, a true to heart gamer. You shouldn't even if you do YouTube or Twitch, you shouldn't just indulge in the medium just for that. And again, going back to what I was saying, the least of the concerns is this capture card thing right now. Um, that's for, you know, these companies to sort out with Ubisoft. But at the, at the end of the day, majority of us gamers don't fucking record gameplay. So, and, yeah, it, it shouldn't be the priority. The priority is let's fix all of these performance and gameplay bugs because you do not you not want to put this game out as for as long as it's been um known about in production and the delays it's had you already got people you know looking at you in a negative light you dump this game out into public in a fucked up state just imagine the like black because you know how today's crowd is they are fucking ruthless you know, there it's not gonna be a pretty sight, but I'll let you know this weekend how it all turns out. Um, anything you want me to look for, please let me know. Um, anyway, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Megas and Megas. Damn, I forgot my name. This your boy Black Megas and I'm out. Deuces.